have a property that you don't want to mess with, you don't want to do the rehab on, well then you should sell it on a wrap. What is a wraparound mortgage? A wraparound mortgage is when you buy a property on seller financing or subject to, and then you sell it with seller financing again. We're going to go through this deal that I sold on a wraparound mortgage in Spring Hill, Florida. Stay tuned for all the numbers and the breakdown. Before we jump into the numbers, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll make more videos on your questions, explaining them in detail. So whether it's this on wraparound mortgages or anything else in real estate, self storage or anything, we're going to provide you as much content as possible, giving you the answers to your questions. So you can do deals just like this. Now the numbers. All right, guys. So we're going over this property in Spring Hill, Florida. I bought this property from somebody who was in Massachusetts. Their dad was moving back up there, was going to be done with the property. This house was a simple three, one house, about a thousand square feet, something like that. And this property we got subject to. So we bought this property for a purchase price of 88,000. We put five grand down and took over a mortgage of 83,000. Subject to the payments on this were five twenty six thirty one a month. Out of this property, we also had to pay obviously the closing costs, which were roughly about three grand. So we're out of pocket eight k on this deal. Now I went to go look at this property. We bought it in January of twenty twenty. I went to go look at it and it was it needed a full rehab. And I was like, man, I don't want to do another full rehab right now. Like I got too much going on. So I decided to sell it on a wraparound mortgage. So the first thing I did when trying to sell this on a wraparound mortgage was I just placed advertising. So I dropped bandit signs around the neighborhood for 120,000. The property was probably worth at that time about 160 was the ARV in 2020. Uh, the property needed work and I just didn't want to do the work. So I put out advertising to sell it for 120, knowing that I was going to finance a buyer. And what we do in these types of situations is try to get the most down as possible. And because it needed a lot of work, the most down I was actually able to get was five grand. So for me, I was okay with that because I pretty much got the majority of my money back. So that was his down payment. And so for him, I financed 115,000 at eight and a half percent. So on mine, I believe I was paying 5% interest on, on this subject to deal of 83,000. And I'm financing somebody else 115,000 at 8.5%. So how this wraparound mortgage works is I have a mortgage that I took over subject to, and we're going to wrap another mortgage around it for the 115. So I collect the payments for the 115, which is 843.83, which is a 30 year mortgage. So I collect the 843. I send out to the subject to mortgage, the 526. I keep the difference. Both these mortgages were principal and interest only. The buyer of my mortgage is responsible for paying taxes and insurance each and every month. So this 843.83 comes off my 526 and it was actually 81 cents. So I make 317.02 a month gross each and every month times that by 12 and I make 38.04.24. Out of this five grand he gave me down, I had a little bit of closing costs. So I actually only netted $4,500. I was out of pocket this eight grand over here. So my total out of pocket is eight grand minus the 4,500 I got. My total out of pocket is 3,500 bucks. So in this transaction, I spent $3,500. I'm getting within the first year, $3,800. So I'm getting over 100% ROI, cash on cash return within the first year. So the first year I already made all my money back. And now I'm just making 317 a month, every single month without having to do any repairs, not having to worry about anything on the property. If the taxes go up, insurance goes up, anything. None of that is my responsibility. That's one of the great things about wraparound mortgages. And it's something that you could pitch to a seller too on the seller finance side that once you sell our finance to us, you don't have to worry about the tenants. You don't have to worry about toilets. You don't have to worry about taxes rising and interest rates and all that. They get their static payment each and every month. And that's what I was happy to get on this deal right here. So another great benefit for this deal is the original balance. The difference between his 115 and mine 83 is 32 K. That's the balance of, that's the equity I was getting. If he would have paid it off the next month, I would have netted $32,000. Right now I'm making not only the 317 a month, but my interest payments are lower than his. So I paid down my principal faster. So for example, that was January, 2020. And he, so, uh, he bought this in March, 2020. Now, as it sits in November, December of 2022, my balance is... $75,000, And his balance that he owes to me is 112, 257, 78. 
now 37,252.92. Not only am I making more money every single month for that 317, I'm actually gaining equity. So now he owes me $5,200 more than he did two years ago. So now when you look at my amortization chart compared to his, cause his was on a 30 year mortgage. And when I took it over, there's only like 17, 18 years left. I'm going to have him paid off by like year 2040. And if he end up paying the rest of the term, he's owed me like $68,000. So this will go up to this. If he pays me every single payment, to the end. Not to mention in 2040, this 843 goes all to me because I'm no longer having a payment. So that's the power of a wraparound mortgage. You're creating a note. You're creating something that is also sellable, but this is what you can do. This is what I would like to do on a lot of deals where I don't want to do work. We're about to close on another deal just like this in Georgia, and we'll share that deal with you also, as long as you subscribe and take a look at these videos of us going over these numbers and showing you different ways to structure deals so you can put this into your business, start taking down assets, building up cash flow, and changing your life.